Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler. And JJ, and this highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, once again open for indoor dining. Playoff time in the LBC. We're at Long Beach Poly as they're hosting Channel Islands in the first round of the D1 playoffs. The Raiders out of Oxnard, second place team in the Pacific View League. It is a Nardcore matchup for sure. Jack Rabbits went from third place to more league champs again this year, hosting a playoff game, and they're loose about it. Yeah, and, and we got action early, JJ. Ethan Schnack with the early opportunity, then a lively David Huerta gonna get a great look at goal, but, but the chances, they were going both ways. Same show, different channel. Great chance for CI's Ricardo Carranza, but it's deflected by Kevin Harahon. Little seven on seven action. We saw eight shots in the first 10 minutes going back and forth. These two teams have been doing it all season, so no surprise. And also no surprise, you know Omar Juarez is going to be involved, create some space, and shoots high. We'll see more from him. Yeah, no doubt. Then Huero just flying down the left sideline. And if they're not going to stop him, he's just going to keep it. This eventually leads to nothing. But you did feel that a goal was coming. Turns out, Omar coming. Juarez playing it perfectly, slipping it through beautifully to Kenny Barnaby in off the goalkeeper, 1-0 in the 20th minute. Barnaby, uh, I guess we can't subtitle that kid, all the way turned up there after that goal. And I don't know if he called bank, but it counts. Oh, it definitely counts. And uh, let all the emotion out. It's the playoffs, baby. This is when it's supposed to happen. Two minutes later, it's Juarez again, this time free to fire, and he puts it in, deflecting off the goalkeeper. 2 nothing in the 22nd minute. I mean, wham, bam, Polly all of a sudden firmly in control of this match. Those two goals coming in a two-minute span really just changed the entire feel of this game because you're right. In the beginning, it looked like it could be 10-11 either way, and then all of a sudden, Polly's in charge. Here's the thing, Polly not done. Great pace from Jordan Ray, crosses into a dangerous area. CI can't clear, so Nathaniel Goodman just tucks it inside the near post. Oh my goodness, JJ. It's 3-0 in the 30th minute. Jackrabbits on fire. They scored three goals in a 10 minute span. They lead 3-0 at the break. Momentum wearing various shades of green at this point, but the Raiders did not back down. They came out firing in the second half, forcing this acrobatic save from Amir Diaz Espinosa all the way in Ohio. They're celebrating that save. OH. Uh, still two way traffic, though. Huerta and the Jackrabbits still hunting that fourth goal and putting pressure on Channel Islands. But in the 53rd, CI going to draw Diaz Espinosa off his line, center it for Carlos Torres, who puts it into the back of the net. And the visitors are on the board here. It's now three to one. We all felt that there were more goals in this game, and sure enough, CI stayed on the front foot, nearly get a second right there as Chris Martinez splits the two crossbars. And then the Jackrabbits also didn't retreat. They just kept attacking good men and Thura with a shot right there. But Diaz Espinosa just kept very busy in the second 40 minutes. He had all six of his saves after halftime, was very active as CI kept pushing forward, eventually, their relentless attack would lead to a second goal. Dangerous ball gets through the poly defense, finds Daniel Orozco, who's going to slide it home. Oh my, it's three to two in the 66th minute. Still time, now nervous moments for Polly. It still felt like there were more goals in this thing. Polly didn't park the bus. They pulled off in the Lambo, always pushing forward with Juarez and Barnaby ready to shoot from any angle. Yeah, Polly head coach Eric Leon said the best defense was offense and he ain't wrong acres of space for huerta who links up with juarez a terrific move here for the jackrabbits jj how do they not score on this oh my goodness anybody who's seen Polly play this year is not as shocked as you and i were because apparently this is just how they played high volume pace high volume shots off the throw juarez gonna rise and fire with his header but just misses wide oh man Polly actually outshot the visitors 12-11 in the second half, even though they were leading 3-0. Jesus Lagunas with 10 saves for the Raiders to keep them alive. And you could just feel the intensity of a one-goal playoff game. The second half was very emotional. The crowd was in it. And we missed this type of feeling, didn't we, JJ? Absolutely. And it's not a mistake that these clips involve number 10, Juarez, a physical beast in there. Literally in the final minute, he isn't looking for the corner flag to waste time. He's going to take it the entire way through the defense and force yet another save. 
Yeah, Polly had the ball so much, Channel Islands didn't really get a chance at an equalizer. The Jackrabbits kept it on their end of the pitch, and there is the final whistle as Polly survives a thrilling 3-2 first round matchup. What a great game for both sides. This was so much fun to watch as the Jackrabbits get the win on their home field. Imagine this is the NCAA men's basketball tournament. This is a survive and advance game for sure. But now Polly feels like the 15 seed having to play the number two seed in the bracket in Servite on the road on Saturday. Heck of a reward for a two-time defending champion to have to go play the Trinity League champions. But uh, as we said about Millican girls soccer last week, discount them at your own peril. We want to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. It's playoff time, baby. And if you want all of that action in the LBC, you know you got to keep it locked right here at the 562.org.